first ride this morning. Got that out of the way. And now um, we're driving in this, uh, if you want to know what the PSYOP is, if you want to know what this false interpretation or ideology of um, democracy is about and equals, this is it. Where, where else in the animal kingdom or on a quantum scale are you going to find this collective of um, democratic process where the strong are made into the weak either by pharmacological means grand sociological manipulations or just being outright castrated um, and the inferior ideas and ideologies are upheld to the point of contention where jobs, titleships, authorships, and sciences are pandered down into a quasi-technical state of um, limited finite programs so that each individual, each person who bends and yields to this um, witchcraft agenda and agenda is invariably unaware of the system that is at play and doesn't want to see it. It's like monkey see, monkey do. And so what you have is the female you know, the Statue of Liberty, uh, you know, Leonardo da Vinci, the, the people that were most heavily influenced by the unseen forces of witchcraft and given certain mathematical treatments in geology, language, and uh, quasi-sciences that don't really, really even exist. I mean, all, all, um, all, all geology or history or um, uh, it, it, it's all about the renaming and the reshuffling of times, places, events, title ships and places, armatures. And mathematics, is, it's a false mathematics that we follow. Um, the, the entire formulation that's based around pi is a complete and total illusion, it's a lie. Um, it basically revolves or rotates around the concept of Nietzsche's flat time. And it is a mere, it, it is to hide and conceal the corkscrew and to show just a, a discography, a loop, if you will. Then when you get into the movement patterns of the sphere, you see that there's a bending, a contorting, a twisting, a, a, a hyperbolic or a, a really a um, parabolic um, event that's occurring there a yin and yang if you will um, and that it, it is on a multi-dimensional level so what's happening like I say you're never going to see this form of democracy and it doesn't work um, and it it gets in the way of it foregoes divine justice, um, that is karma, dharma, um, it is taking the S, the reversal, the antithetical, right? The S represents a flipping of energies. You have the Z, which represents energy itself, or the, it's really the, the verb of in action, the adverb, in, in action, in use, energy in use, in process, right? And you have the E that stands for, for energy or entropy or energetics. You have the F that stands for force. And you better believe that the alphabet is particularly the English alphabet coming from Latin and other derivatives completely and totally represents this. 
So it's a codified system that you have to figure out. And even more so, when you place these letters um, in a position that is in the movement pattern of quarks themselves, and you start to see that there are, are six positions and there's, there's always a center position, when you put these all together, you start to see a shape emerge, right? And you have to be able to think in, by way um, of multi-dimensional movement patterns because nothing is static, nothing isn't moving. So when you, when you really look at the democratic process in play, it is the most evil, uh, cancerous and non-benign um, energetics that's occurring, that's creating this, this loop, if you will, this energetic loop system that just keeps looping back on itself. And that's not how energy works. So there, there's an acquisitioning that occurred that you would assume that the hierarchy of witchcraft itself would have a certain amount of power. But like all these democratic systems, they have to reduce those with power, those with natural power. So the entire um, planetary system was destroyed. Um, and there became an alliance and through this alliance alliance there is a suppression and a repression everything that you think you're being taught like oh the population's going crazy and um, there's too many people and um, we can't get off planet and uh, you know we're still driving gas combustible engines and um, technology in, in its modernity and its modern form has only been available for, for this amount of time and they're complete lies. It's a complete and total fabrication. If you want to study Tartaria, um, if you want to go back into Lemuria and Atlantis, which whatever you want to study. But the issue is you can take any area of postulation and study, you throw democracy over it, and you have a polluted, corrupted system um, that will destroy the strong, hang Jesus on a cross, when when Jesus begins to understand that it is it is mindcraft, it is witchcraft, it is turning to the father and not the mother, not Mother Circe, not the Lady of the Wood, not the the evil spider witch. Yeah, it's pretty freaky what's really happening. It's very very scary what's really happening, and uh, there's been a lot of foreboding and foretelling stories throughout the ages that have very much pointed out what's happening today. But if you know, if you are one, you'll know. And there are very few that hold the knowledge, that have the gnosis, that just know, have the knowing within them. Is the knowing being able to write books and um, rally people to support you and to um, take money for it and to be a sellout and, and to just live in the system and live lavishly within the system. So the people that you think are in power actually are very aware of this and are completely freaked out and are just flying by the seat of their pants. They're, they're complete conformists. They're complete ass kissers. Um, many of them have known what's going on from before their um, birth here. And... Uh, much prior to and if you play along with it you're downloaded information you're downloaded math you're, you're downloaded certain sciences you're downloaded uh, the geography you're downloaded the language because all the lang most of the languages are based on gibberish um, whimsical notions of leaders and past leaders that were put in power positions because they are, they represent the antithetical where they have zero power. They have zero countenance. They have zero pre-inclination and um, foreknowledge, um, intuition, a priori, esoteric uh, understanding. So, anyway, this is kind of like a, a third excerpt of, of what we're talking about here.
but once we get past the um, unsightly, unruly democratic process, we get into and we begin to see how simple the system works, how simple the order works, right? And it's a reorder, it's a reshuffling, right? And it never works. And it always, that's why these cycles are based on, this 26,000 year cycle is based on a lie. You know, the half cycle, the 13,000 year cycle is based on a lie. None of it's based on the truth. None of it is part and parcel to the real truth, the full truth. It's all verisimilitude. It's what appears to be true, what appears to be um, evident. But it's an iceberg because ev most everything is concealed. And it will come out through process, by process. It comes out. But what happens is, is the system, the planets, the metallurgy, um, as soon as everything returns back into its roots, as Jesus says, um, as soon as that begins to take place, the system is mailed, made as a fail-safe to literally do that, to fail itself, to reset. So the Great Reset, it's a very negative thing. 